So recently I made a post on Reddit showcasing how, what happens when you stack way too much uh, boss core cost modifiers and a lot of people uh, I was playing uh, third way achievement and an unlikely candidate uh, run. A lot of people asked me about how to do it and just random tips and if I make guides I didn't make. As you can see from this very bootleg setup I don't make guides but I'm going to try now. So you are starting as Mazap because they are the only body nation around here. They're also the one of the candidate for the achievement unlikely candidate which is to form Andalusia as them instead of like something like Granada or Morocco or Tunis. What you are waiting for is one very specific condition on the start of the game. You're probably going to restart it until this happens. You want Togurt and Fazak to start allied to each other and nothing else. You don't want them allied with Desert, you don't want them allied with Clemson, just those two together. Why is that? Well, if they're allied with each other, there's very likely it's very likely that this is a rival of one of them, which means they won't give permission to go troop, so you can just kill Togurt before Fazan even shows up. It also uh, lets you just win. You can't really win against Clemson or Tunis early game, so your game is already over if you, if they just gank up on you. Another reason is you can't actually attack Fazan normally. They are allied but guaranteed by Tunis. So if you try to attack them, you're going to attack Tunis. If sometimes, actually in most games, they just ally the Mamluks, which also makes it impossible. So it's just very hard to get them if you don't get them. So you just attack them, you just fall annex, target, and you Vassalize Fizan. That way you just get rid of it. Once you're done with that war, you're going to notice that Tunis and Morocco sometimes will have decided to gang up on Clemson and just destroy all of them. Uh, if they should still alive, you they're probably out of Clemson and probably already dead, but if they're not, you can also eat them up. But you're going to use the chaos, and because Clemson is being attacked by two sides, you're going to also attack them and try to do whatever you want usually just get the last two or three provinces if you can handle it you can turn them into a vassal though keep in mind Fizan is already a vassal you have two vassals it's very hard to control both of them you can also just take the land and ha just keep it so let's go over something which is you are a feudal theocracy yes a feudal theocracy which give you better gives you more missionary missionary strength it just it, you're basically somewhere between a feudal country and an actual theocracy like the two towns you have a lot very useful which is this one that you can use is you can get claims over everyone so you from day one from december 12th you could just attack everyone you also have two somewhat less useful this one is for construction costs which is Honestly, very useful, but not as useful as free claims of the game. And you have the minorities from abroad. You get one development in a random province and 20% cost. Also very useful, though only on your capital region. So after that, let's assume you have finished everything. You have conquered this entire chunk here. You have maybe taken some chunk out of Clemson. Now your goal is to attack Tunis. Your hope is to be able to 1v1 them. If they're allied to elements, you're doomed. If they're allied to Marco, it's a giant headache. You're gonna have to wait until Castile attack Granada and like pulls Tunis and Morocco in. Then you can like sneak in and attack them. But otherwise you can just 1v1 them. If you're good enough, you're probably going to win. It's not very hard because Tunis is just going to rush your capital. You're, ju you're just going to wait them around and try to get either try to either seize them first or just uh, beat them and then after you beat them you can just go and take one fort the other fort in the capital and that's it you can just peace out for like half of their country after you have taken this entire region you're going to be faced with one question what do i need 
you have the option, a very easy option of forming algaes, which is, it doesn't do anything because the ideas are more, more or less the same. But what you get is free prestige, free claims, and you get automatic kingdom rank. There, it's a good idea, somewhat, but keep in mind, you are going to want to form Morocco later on. And when you form Algiers, you're going to become Algerian. You can't form Morocco as Algerian, you have to revert back either to um, Berber, which you start the game as Berber, you have to revert back to it, which isn't very hard, but you have to do it early. Or you're going to have to culture shift again from Berber to Algiers, then to Moroccan. Why not Tunisian? Well, you don't want Tunis. They have relatively good ideas, but they are not as good as Morocco. They're just worse version of Morocco. Also, uh, let's quickly attack the Morocco. They have a very important idea, very important line, which is when you get to this point here, you're going to take to populate this province and you're going to get claims over everyone. Or then eventually you're going to get claims over everything here. Free claims, free permanent claims, no less. Over everything is very good. That's a lot of saved admins. Also, there's the plant card, which gives you permanent 2.5 discipline. You can ignore all of that and just go straight up and just kill Castile and then form endeavors here. You can do that. But because we are doing the third way, we are already going to have to expand here. So why not just do it beforehand? Just Stay as Morocco maybe 20 to 50 years longer and just mop up this entire region. Don't care about aggressive expansion, just eat everything up. You're only care by your admin efficient, but your admin generation. You can just go do it, hire better advisors, and just keep focusing on admin. Just eat all of them, it doesn't matter. No one is they're only going to coalition between themselves. So if you eat them fast enough, you're never going to face coalitions. Eventually you have consolidated more or less all of the western half of Africa you're going to want to form Morocco, you're going to form Andalusia you have a very easy option here which is you are going to try to ally France why do we want to ally France? it's not because we want help you, at this point you can beat the Castilians what you want is you're, when you have an ally they don't take as much aggressive expansion as everyone else. They go. They only take 60 per 66 percent of the aggressive expansion. So if you do, if you generate 100 aggressive expansion, they only take 66. So that means, and because France is so large, and they just tend to consolidate this entire area, that means they're going to be your friend, and they're going to shield you. They're going to tank all the aggressive expansion and not let it leak out. So what you have in here is you can just eat. The entire Castilians, you can just commit war crimes here and nobody will care. There's nothing, you know, the Germans are so far removed, they don't really care. You can just, I ate Portugal in one war because of an insane war score cost and not a single coalition form. Now, they're going to be angry, but because this entire region is a hot box, they're going to be allied between each other. You can, you know, if you just went to, if you ate Portugal, we obviously have a truce with Castile, so it doesn't really matter. You can just truce type them and eat them again. So that's basically what you're going to do. Every time you stop, you're going to do it again and again and again until they die. Now let's go on and go to Granada. And let's presume that we... Now, so... And... Let's also eat water. That lets us to. Ah, you need. We need to state this. So, since this is stated, what will happen is let's assume we have formed Andalusia. What do we do now? No. So now we have very straight edge. We, you're obviously going to do the missions. Uh, you will have one colonist exactly don't use them to colonize if you're lucky uh try to time it so that the moment you annex 
Portugal, and the moment you annex, you full annex Castile, is in one war. So like, if you can eat 99% of them, don't eat like eight, eat only like 80%, and then come back for the other 20 in another war. Why is that? Because when you full annex them, you inherit the colony. You maybe inherit. You're probably going to inherit Portugal, uh, the Caribbean, uh, anything that is happening here, and you're going to take them. You they're going to have all the colonies that you didn't really make, you're just going to let them do whatever they want, and that's it. You're going to use your colonies to, one, take control over the Ivory Coast. Those two are high for priority. Then you're going to make your way and keep sneaking around here. You're going to take this, you're going to have a province on the Cape Good Hope. You're going to try and build a little bit of stop a little bit of a presence here so you can have a lot of areas to go in and you're just going to expand slowly because your goal is to kill anyone who isn't a body any month so Sunnis, Shias, they're both going to die or to convert if you can convert them it's fine you don't have to unless you're going a war conquest you don't really need to cover them you just want, need them to not be Sunni or Shia so if you, you can force convert them, you can just annex them and convert the land yourself. So that's why we need to sneak away and like just island hop until we get here. We need to kill any Muslim Indians who happens to be here. And we are going to then ride the mission tree that we get from Andalusia and just take... First you're going to take Egypt, then Syria, then the entire region, all from you following your missions. It's not going to be very hard. You can always leave the Ottomans for last, as long as... So, on your first war, you can maybe... When you're attacking the Mamluks, you can just maybe eat those few provinces here and just pop out to Syria and just keep them as a vassal. This will block the Ottomans from attacking, from like eating the Mamluks, and then just make your way and eat everyone else. That's more or less it. There is a very important mission it should be around here yes restore our andals which is you can complete it when you just convert take back all those scores and convert them you can when you break it you get 20 war score cost against other religions that means each province becomes cheaper so if you can imagine this this is 13 percent this is nine this is six so all of those provinces, because they're Christian, it will become easier for you to take. It will not cost less AE, it will not cost less to core. This is not admin efficiency, it's just easier to take it. Alright, this is useful because you can take bigger chunks. Like, imagine if you can, if we go here, you need 122 war score to take all of Naples. That's a lot, you can't, you can't have more than 100. But, if, you, if they were cheaper, if you have diplomatic ideas, that's 20% less. If you have 25% less from the mission, you can you can basically annex all of Naples in one war, and then immediately peace out, drop them again as a vassal. You don't get any aggressive expansion, even though you can't possibly call of this all of this in one go. You can't really take the over extension, but you can just annex them and drop them out. One of your early goals is to take Malta. That's another thing. On rank 1, it gives plus 5 against other religions, or minus 5. On max rank, it gives minus 15. Minus 15, minus 25, you can stack all of them, and you end up in, in the same situation that I was in Reddit, when you can just eat the entire Ottomans in one war. You can, 100 war score just gives you the entire Ottoman and most of the pocket with it. Uh, one thing that is very useful, but also not always very useful, depending on your timing, is, well, when you get Age of Discovery, first of thing, you're always going to try and humiliate someone, anyone, uh, just to get this ball rolling. You're going to take Justified Wars, obviously. Then, next war, think about transfer subjects. What this ability does is it lets you steal people's subjects 
as your own at half cost. So if we look here, Aragon is 250 for score to annex. Of course, you can't annex them, but you can vassalize them at half cost. So 250, half of that is 125. Still over 100, so you can't do it. But if you stack modifiers, if you, for example, go here and let's say you started religious or and then but then you started diplomatic you can just get minus 20 you can get minus 25 from the mission you can steal malta from them and just take the minus 50 then or minus 5 depending on how fast you can level up and by the time you're ready maybe this is why you're going to take it as your second as your penalty or maybe even third you can maybe you can have the enough cost to just take all of it. Of course, you can't take vassals because you, you can't take personal unions. You are Muslim, but you they will convert into a vassal. So basically, you can just eat all of this as a vassal, all of Aragon in one go as a vassal. And because France is your friend and your ally, no one will be able to be angry about it. Even if France goes over. As long as you keep good relations with them, even if they go to like 60 or 70 aggressive expansion, they will not break your alliance. They will break your alliance if you dare take anything that is French. If you go well with the English and you, for example, decide that Bordeaux is actually a very nice province, they will break your alliance. They will absolutely break that alliance on like the next day. So don't do that if you still want, want that to be useful. If you don't care and you've already, if you already like, have all of Africa and the entire Mediterranean and you don't care what the French think then by all means you can do whatever you want. So yeah, I probably miss a lot of things but this is just a boot like a, 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 a guide of some sort. Goodbye.